I, I always get gloves that are too small, but I need some sound. Oh, fuck, there we go. It's not working. <laughs> Ryan, I heard you're the right-hand man. <laughs> you're gonna show us something special today. Yeah. Trimming brisket. How many briskets do you guys throw a week at least? Right now, probably just under 70. In the summertime, we're forecasting over 150. So that's when the new patio will be opening and we get another 200 seats outside. Some guys separate the point from the flap. You don't do that, why not? In the brisket, there's gonna be good fat and bad fat. Cut the ugly stuff off here that looks like grandma's underwear. We will remove everything that is basically slimy. So that's your silver, your ligaments, your tendons. Get it ready for the smoker. Is it all about the rub? Is it all about the inject? Or is it all about the basting? It's all about all three. They're all, they're all equally as important. So this is uh, Ryan's mixture, right? What do you got in there today? Red wine au jus. So we're talking about red wine reduction. We got salt and pepper. We got a beef broth. So you use this for the beef broth? Yes. Beautiful. Melt it down, then goes into the sausage. It's yeah. It's a cycle. We try not to throw anything out. No, it's food. Yeah. This is the best bit. Yeah. Good. So show us the technique, buddy. Always go on with the grain on the injection. That's the only way it's actually going to get in. You're never going to be able to inject this way and cross cut, or there it's going to shoot straight out. Because it has to go with the fibers. Absolutely. This is our brisket rub. You always want to have a good layer on there and they'll go into the fridge for the night to chill. And the next day, they're ready to go into the smoker. Rob, usually in these rubs, there's onion powder, garlic powder, cyan, those are the typical things you go in there? You can do a million different variables and there's no right or wrong. The methods that we tend to lean towards is Texas versus KC. KC styles are always going to have a little bit more sauce and Texas is usually dry rubs. We still make all of our own sauces here, but we choose to let the customers put it on. Because yeah. a lot of them won't even use sauce, they just eat it. It's so good the way it comes out. We have yes. a whole ball team here. This How's is awesome. Going, ball team? How do you this like the barbecue? Good. <laughs> I want to say thank you to you, Rob. Hey. Go for it. Thank you. thank you so much. The Calgary Kaizen softball team. You guys are awesome. This is what it's all about, man. It's community, community, community. And you can see the local softball team coming for their brisket. That's awesome. See guys, this is why we come to Big Sky Barbecue. The food is awesome, you should be here.